Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of the Bench Mob ENT Podcast, the best sports podcast in New Jersey. We got a special guest on with us tonight, Trey Peak, aka Trey Sayings, oh. aka one of the funniest comedians on <laughs> Instagram, YouTube, TikTok right now. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great, man. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. We appreciate you hopping on out of your busy schedule, taking time on to be with us. For those that do not know, of course, we're going to make sure it's in the description. Make sure we post it in the episode where he is at on socials. For those that haven't heard of him, which I think that's a lie, that's likely didn't happen. You may not know the name, but you've seen the video. You had to have seen the profile, bringing people closer to Jesus through humor. By yeah, posting bro. relatable videos, and that is exactly what you do. Before we get into it, because I got some questions for <laughs> sure. Make sure y'all hit the follow button, subscribe, yeah. share, yeah. share with your uncle, your dog, your cat, your them. baby moms. Even if y'all don't talk, share it with your baby moms. <laughs> this is yeah. gonna be some good content. It's something that everybody can learn in this one. I'm telling you for sure. Yeah. Now, I want to start off with this. Let's start at the beginning. Like, at what point did you know I'm I'm funny? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a funny question because like I still don't think like I'm funny. I just I don't know. It's just weird. But like to answer it, like I think it was like around I was like 21 or 22. Around that time, I was like volunteering. I was an intern for my um, young adults ministry at my church. So we were doing like always doing some funny announcements for service and everything. And then like my homie Cameron, who was the youth intern, he would like come up with skits for the youth. And we just be up there just, <laughs> it was like almost like a Keenan and Kel kind of thing. Like we just had no script. We just up there for 10 minutes, just making them laugh and everything. But that's why I knew like, oh, it's not by kind of like, like, like entertaining people. I like being on the stage and everything. But after I'm, 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 I'm like low key, a quiet person. But it's like a gift that God gives me. Like when I get on stage, like I turn a different person and I get off stage, I'm like, I'm chill. So I was like, I would say like when I was like 21 or 22 around there, that's why I know. I guess I'm pretty funny. <laughs> now you've been creating content for a minute, mm-hmm. going back to, I believe it was 2014. Mm-hmm. I was scrolling back to like yeah, the first research. <laughs> <laughs> I went scrolling down all yeah. the way to the first post you ever did mm-hmm. on IG. At what yeah. point, though, for you, like, did you feel that you could actually create content and that you were getting good at it? Like, what point mm-hmm. did it, like, a light bulb go off? Like, oh, I'm actually, I'm good at creating this mm-hmm. content thing. Like, it wasn't mm-hmm. always even the comedy videos. Mm-hmm. If y'all have time, yeah. go scroll <laughs> all the way back to the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't always that. You yeah. was creating content, though, from way back then, but mm-hmm. it transformed to what we have now. Mm-hmm. When did you know that you were good at creating content in general? Yeah, so that was probably, I would say, about, like, 2018. Like, my, my, home, my homie, uh, Jared, was, like, he had some, like, social media kind of kind of business, and he, like, kind of basically, like, invested in me. Like, I don't know what his, like, what his, like, whole procedure or, like, plan was, but, like, he was getting me followers, like, crazy. And all, all I had to do was, like, post a video a week. So that's all I was, like, was doing, like, posting, like, consistently for, like, like, months and everything. So back then it was, like, it was, like, primarily just, like, me like doing like music or like videos to gospel music to like different like scenarios in my life. So I was like doing that. And then like when I saw people like follow me and everything, I was like, oh snap. Cause I remember like back in the day, like getting like 50 likes was like, yeah, let's go. Got 50 likes. Let's go. And then like I was getting like 10,000. I was like, oh snap. I think I'm, I think I'm actually be uh <laughs> pretty good at this, but I was like so inconsistent that was my thing i was so inconsistent so like if i felt like my video was going to like wasn't like perfect and it like flopped i wouldn't have post for a good like month two months because i was like man i'm done i quit so i was just so inconsistent but around 2018 is when i knew like okay i can i have have a little talent here (laughs) now for you you mentioned you know for those that don't know when it comes to the social media aspect of course you see in every coach video every 
person that got 2.5 million followers, <laughs> they all say the number one thing that you need to do is be consistent. Mm-hmm. You can see that on literally 50 videos, and that's going to be one of the tips <laughs> every time. For you, yep. what helps you to actually, you know, start being consistent? What did that look like for you? Yeah, so I didn't really start being consistent until like 2022. So it was like a long story, like long story short, like in 2020, I believe like I was like doing a 21 day fast. And I, I feel like the Lord told me on the 20th day of my fast, actually crazy, like the day of my birthday and the day after Kobe, when Kobe died, like I'll never get the day ever. <laughs> like I'll never get that. Like I feel like the Lord like spoke to me uh, about my purpose and everything. And I didn't like do it until like 2022 because I got into like a relationship that was toxic. So I was in there, I was in it for like two years. It wasn't until like after that ended that I remember what God told me to do. And then like, once I started doing it, like, cause I was like, it was like a rough, I was engaged, the engagement fell. So like that 2022, I was like in therapy for like basically the first half of the year. So like, after I like got back to myself, I, I went back to what God told me to do. And then like, like I started posting like, what he told me to do. And then like, it, it was like steadily like increasing. I was like, Oh snap. Cause then like after the, all my therapy and everything, my whole little healing process, like I had my first video get over a million views. I was like, Oh snap. So now I just kept on posting. I was like posting a good, like four to five times a week for a good. Like basically that whole rest of that year from like April to like December, I was like posting at least like four to five times a week. And everything. So that's when I was like, oh, snap. So yeah, it was that's that's when it was and everything. <laughs> that is dope being mm-hmm. that you had to go through some other stuff mm-hmm. to get to where you needed to be. And it was ultimately mm-hmm. it was like, yo, during a time of fasting, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's where you got your answer. Yeah. Like, yeah, you was just being obedient, just going on your fast. Mm-hmm. And I'll let you know, like, all right, this is what your purpose yeah. is. This is what mm-hmm. I want to do but shout out to you though because for those that's not watching but those that grew up in church and understand the bible Mm -hmm. you still had a choice though yeah have to choose to say yes Mm -hmm. and i was thinking i was like fasting social media so i was thinking i was like that love so like i got i had like no distractions so my god is like cool and then like in 2022 you know you're being single like i had like no excuse i had the time (laughs) <laughs> like just me so i got no excuse i got time to create content i got no one to talk to but like i had no excuse so <laughs> it was like i better create content all this time like i got no excuse like <laughs> oh, that's fact man uh they, they talk about it all the time you know in the bible paul talks about like hey if you single you need to be doing mm-hmm. any and everything yeah. that i told you to do you don't have <laughs> You ain't yeah. gotta leave the household. You ain't mm-hmm. gotta do nothing like that. So that's right. Yeah, that's, that's facts. What keeps you motivated? What keeps you inspired? So basically, like, definitely, um, God keeps me motivated because, like, when like I learned that, like, when you're just obedient to do what He tells you to do, like the success, like the followers, all that stuff, like, just the byproduct of you being obedient. So that kind of motivated me because, like, now I know, like, when I'm doing what God tells me to do, like. I don't have to go searching for like people to follow me and everything or people that I've looked up to for years. Like, like they, 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 they like everybody that I looked up to for like years. They, they follow me first. Like it wasn't me like trying to network. It was just me just being obedient to do what God told me to do. And then all, all the success and everything that just, that was just a byproduct. And then like, also like pe- the, like the, the DMs that I get from people, like this one DM I got like in 2022, it was crazy. Like she, she, someone told me that her father just passed away and everything. Like, my content was like helping her in her grieving process. I was like, dang, like it was like, and then like other comments is like, people were like, I never would have picked up the Bible if I didn't like watch your video. And that's all I was, all, all I'm trying to do was like get people to open up their Bible and everything, not become pastors or anything like that. Just open up the Bible just to know, just to read it and everything, just be like a stepping stone to like growing in their walk with God. So like, those are the kind of things that motivate me and really keep me going. That's facts and that's dope to, mm-hmm. to see that type of response. Mm-hmm. And that's just step one. You just got to yeah. <laughs> you doing literally God, mm-hmm. your content is drawing people closer mm-hmm. to God. And then that God handles the rest. Like, yo, I watched this video. Wait, that's yeah. in the Bible. Yeah. That's the thing I love like in my church, right? My apostle, she talks about it all the time, like read the word and have it 
like read it coming alive to you. Mm. People think that the Bible is like this boring <laughs> book. It's been around for 7,000 years. <laughs> There's nothing interesting in it. Mm-hmm. Yo, a lot of the stuff that you get on TV now is actually just flipped from the Bible. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Though. Like David and Bathsheba? Yeah. Yeah. I can see that on TV for all days. Time. For weeks on David and Bathsheba. I love David and Bathsheba. <laughs> Shoot, man. <laughs> No, just look at David Life. David Life is on TV right now. You got mm-hmm. your, the son trying to kill him. Yeah. Him. Like, yo, the <laughs> Bible is actually, that's mm-hmm. what's dope about the Bible, I think. Mm-hmm. Like, and we talk about this all the time. We're in 2024. The Bible was written how long ago and it's still relevant to the day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, yeah. that, yep. That's what hit different. It's still relevant to today mm-hmm. and yeah. it was written how long ago yeah <laughs> but yep. i digress because this will turn into a whole <laughs> man preach it <laughs> <laughs> who has inspired you when you were growing up though like in this process of the creating the content like who were some of your inspirations like did you look at anybody mm-hmm. like oh this is how they're doing this because i did see mm-hmm. in my research that you said that you are self-taught mm-hmm. so what was that process of being self-taught and did you look at anybody like for inspiration? Yeah. So basically like my brother and I, we were always like making like, <laughs> like music videos. Like, it, like us, all we did was make music videos. So it started back then and everything, but like really uh, Kev on stage was like, he's like my unofficial mentor. He don't know, but he's like my, he's like my mentor. Like, like I didn't even know what the term content creator was until like, he had a conference that was shut down because of COVID in 2020. So it was like virtual. So it was only like a 20, it was only like a 20 bucks for a ticket. So I'm going to, I'm going to pay that money. It was cheap and everything. So it was like, I, that's how I learned, that's how I learned about what, like what a content creator was. And that's why I knew like, Oh, that's what I want to do. Cause I knew I wanted to make like social media content, but I know like what it was called. Cause at that time I was like a video editor for my church and everything. So I was doing that, but I was like, I want to do some other kind of videos, but I don't know like what it is. So like Kevin on stage being a part of that conference, like it like opened up my eyes and it actually gave me a name of what I actually wanted to do. And that's why I knew like that's what I want to do in my life. So Kevin on stage is like he's like my he's like the my biggest motivation, my mentor and everything. So shout out to Kevin on stage. Yeah. Like, I got his master class. Oh yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like two years ago. He keep adding to it. So that's mm-hmm. dope. Yeah, oh, shout like out about to, it. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Kevin on stage. Definitely that was one of the um people I saw too. Like I was already podcasting, but then when I saw his podcast, it was kind of like, oh, that's dope. Like somebody mm-hmm. in the space and it's entertaining. That's yeah. Like, yeah. It's I like, entertaining. Yeah. I like about him. I also like how he like he puts people on. Like he he took his friends with them. Like he gave them all the opportunities to create their own content in his own studio and everything. So he's, he's like he's like putting people on as I'm trying to do too. like get to that level of success where I can like have it like a space to for people to create and everything, not to worry about like where can I film at? Like, where can I go and everything? So I'm trying to get to that kind of like Kevin on stage level and everything. Oh yeah. He, he's definitely doing it. <laughs> yeah. He's definitely doing mm-hmm. it. There. That's one of the things like yep. that I personally like seeing anybody do that. Mm-hmm. When you get to that point and you have that platform. Yep. I mean, that's the mindset though mm-hmm. of what a believer should be. Who can I bless? Yeah. Like, it's right. not just, it's not just for me. Mm-hmm. And I think that's dope. Like everybody over there on Kevin Stage Studios, they eating and they eat yeah. good. They eat. <laughs> yeah, <for laughs> they sure. eat good for sure. Mm-hmm. With you, right? Because you putting out content like like this, it's coming out like clock. Yeah. <laughs> What's the creation process like for you? Do you are you just in Bible study, your personal Bible study, and like, yo, mm-hmm. that'll be a good video? Like, what's yeah. your what's your creation process like? Yeah, so I'm actually I'm. I'm trying to like figure out my creation process. Cause like everything I do is like sporadic. Like, like people always ask me like how I do it. And I'm like, I give them the same answer. Like all I do legit, all I do is like, I'm always like praying for creativity. Like I'm like, I'm like humble with it. I'm like, cause I know like I'm not that creative without God. So like, like God, I need you to give me creativity, Lord. I need it and everything. So then like I get done praying, like, like it's crazy. Like a lot of my ideas like come when I'm like in traffic out here. So like anything I hear, like stuff just pops in my head and like, it's like a uh, props to my mom. Cause she was like my uh, children's ministry teacher growing up. 
So I knew all the stories and everything. So it's weird. Like when I hear stuff, like stories just pop in my head. I'm like, oh snap, that'd be a good video. So it's like the songs that I use, I'm not like trying, I'm not trying to like use like a Keith Sweat song or something like that, or like Ludacris. It's like it's just like stuff just pops in my head as I hear these songs, like, oh snap, that's that's a pretty good good story. So it's like it's almost like I'm just like praying for creativity. And God's like faithful to give me that creativity. But now, like this year, I'm trying to like be like more efficient and like like plan out my stuff and be like more like like yeah efficient basically because i'm trying to i can't be being sporadic (laughs) my whole entire like like career and everything so now i'm trying to get more like more like professional with it not being so sporadic and everything (laughs) well shout out to you for the answer of not taking like yeah you know this is me yeah (laughs) that's how (laughs) yeah that's a fine line, cause then yeah. God, the way just just like that, mm-hmm. next thing you know, yo, what happened to Trey? Yeah, his, yeah, his videos yeah. ain't fitting no more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cause I can tell, I can tell. I know that God knows He can trust me, cause I know it's like it's not me, it's Him. So I was like, cause I even did a video about like Revelation for the first time ever, and I like legit like felt the, I like oh snap, like it was a serious video right here. Like it was funny, but I was like. I felt like, oh, snap, I need to get down my knees and pray and just thank God for like using me because it was like, it was serious. I'm like, oh, snap, this is this is like bigger than me. So I was like, I'm always like on my knees, like asking God for creativity because I know the moment I'm like, get all cocky and start getting like, uh, like I know it's going to be gone. So I'm like, I know like where my hope comes from. I ain't going to front like, it's all, this is me, I built this. Like, no, nah, I ain't going to do that. No, nah, I ain't going to, I ain't going to be like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> Now, with, with that in mind, right? So, you know, you're relying on God. Mm-hmm. The glory goes to God. The credit goes to God. What does success look like to you? How do you define it? So now I used to think like, how we all think like success is like, you know, you watch like MTV Cribs back in the day. And like you see all you see all that like, man, they're, they're successful. But now it's like, I got like different like view. Now I, I just see success as just, just simply just doing what you were placed on this earth to do. Like, cause that, that would make you successful. Like, cause you were all, we're all here on earth for a reason. Our hearts are still beating for a reason because we're all here on this earth to do what he has called us to do. So now I, I see success as just, just doing what you're called to do. And whether that's being a teacher or whether that's being like a, just like a host or a janitor, like whatever you're called to do, like if God has called you to do that and you're doing it, you're just being obedient to do what he told you to do. That's a success. Cause the world needs you to be in your lane, doing what you're called to not, not doing what someone else is doing right now. You got to be doing like what you're specifically like called to do. And I feel like that's where I'm at right now. Like I actually feel like the past like two years, I'm, I'm like actually like walking in my purpose because like the way I'm able to create stuff is like, like, it's not like me. It's like truly a gift from God. And like, I'm seeing like success and everything. I'm just barely getting started. So I think success is just doing what you're like, created to do and it's like on us to actually like seek god about like like god what have you called me to do like and then like when you get it get that word like write it down like you said like write a vision down like make it plain and everything because that's what i did like what, what like what i put in my instagram bio is like what like god told me why well, i believe he told me when i was fasting so i just wrote that down and like made i made that vision plain so now like i'm just i feel like i'm, I'm being successful because i'm just doing what god is like creating me to do that's all facts. We was just talking about that in my church probably like two months ago, where it's like, and <clears throat> God needs his people to be in position mm-hmm. doing what they're supposed to do. And also when you're in that position though, that you need to be masters of your craft. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't say like, if you're not master of your craft, they're going to somebody else. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just exactly. like you mentioned earlier, can I trust you with this? So mm-hmm. if you, are excelling and trying to be the best that you can be at your craft. That means there's a more likely chance that somebody's going to come to you. And when they mm-hmm. come to you, yep. you're going to actually witness. You actually going to tell them, no, nah, it's not, it's not Trey. <laughs> yeah. It's God. Sure. <laughs> yep. That opens up the door, but you got to be in position and you got to be excellent mm-hmm. at what you do. Like you said, it could be a teacher. It could be, yeah. I'm the best garbage man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> in the state, come talk mm-hmm. to me. Like whatever it is, we gotta do it under God. So yep. I think that's a dope mindset and mentality mm-hmm. to have and that more people should have. 
Yep. Like, hey, yeah. you didn't start off with the 107K mm-hmm. on Instagram, mm-hmm. but you were doing what God told you to do. Mm-hmm. And over time, this is what came. Yep. Yeah, cause I was yeah, because I was like making I've been like making like Instagram videos for like 10 years now. But I was like, and when I once I like got the clarity of like the content I should be making, that's when it took off because it, it didn't take off till like the middle of 2022 and everything. So I because I had like nine thousand followers like middle of 2022, and then like at the end of at the end of that year, I had like fifty thousand. Then last year I got to like got to hundred thousand and everything. So that was all just me just doing what like God like told me to do and everything. That's how I know it ain't me. So I'm I'm never gonna be like, man, it's all me right here. I deserve this. Ten years in the game, it's me right here. Like I ain't I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> like <laughs> so for you, right? Um, for those that aspire to be a content creator, if you had to give any advice to those aspiring to be in the same position, what advice would you give them? Basically, like like we were talking about earlier, it's all, it's all, just all about like consistency. Like, stop trying to be like perfection. Like, I heard my, like my boss, uh, he said like, well, I heard a lot of people say this. Like, it's like don't compare like your seed to someone else's tree. Like, we all we all started at seed at seed form and everything. We then we grew up to be that tree that everybody sees and everybody like is able to pull from and gravitate towards and everything. So I would say just really just be consistent. And just really just continue to be consistent and use like what you have, because if you're not like being consistent with it, like you don't know like what video might go like viral for you. Like if you're not posting, like for me, like it was always like me, like posting four to five times a week. And then it's like the fourth video that I post that will be the one that like took off and everything. But I would never know that if I wasn't consistently like doing it. So I would say just like whatever you're like skilled at doing, just keep doing it consistently. Stop being so focused on the engagement that you're like that you're not getting yet, but just keep on doing it because I know where people are going to see. It. And there's always always takes like one person because then like one person finds your page and they just be liking all your videos and everything. And then it's like it's like a wildfire almost. Like like you're like what the heck? Like, so it's, it's all about like being consistent and just, then just like using what you have as well. Just I know you like you, you don't have a good camera or a good phone. Just use what you have and then like steadily build build up towards it and everything. And also like if you have a day job, keep your day job so your day job can fund your your passion and everything. Don't just quit all together. Make sure you have some money like saved up. Don't quit your day job until you like you're ready to actually like step out and everything. Cause I like um I left my church and everything. So I was doing like a lot of freelance. So I was like, man, I'm not, I'm not getting no money right now. So I had to get like another job so I can like <laughs> fund my vision and my passion and everything. So definitely just be consistent. And everything continue to be like faithful to use what you have as well and everything. Yeah, unless God tells you. Yep. Unless God tell you. Mm-hmm. Facts. Dude, don't don't <laughs> come back and comment on this video later, like yo, Trey and Tone had me quit my no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> don't do but it. That's not what we're talking about with being consistent. No, don't. Unless you have a dove come down from heaven saying. Leave your job right now. I got you the next five years. Then you leave, but you don't get that dub. You don't get that angelic <laughs> visitation. You, you better stay at FedEx. I don't care. You better. <laughs> That's the point, man. Like God gave you the vision and gave people dreams. And it wasn't like, all right, you got to stop doing everything else. Like to like release you to do that. You know, yeah. you got the nine to five and then yeah. for most of that understand Then you got a, a six to 10. Mm-hmm. Facts. Yeah. yeah. It is what it is. And that's the thing that I know I've had to realize on multiple occasions, like, all right, just because God said, I want you to do this, doesn't negate that I still want you to do this other thing. Yeah. I, didn't tell it. I didn't tell you to stop. Mm-hmm. So why, why did you stop? <laughs> yeah. I knew that's the thing that's funny. Like, God knows what's on our plate when he tells us mm-hmm. to do what he tells us to do. Yep. So it's like, like you said, you're that it puts you in a position where you should. Be like, yo, I, I can't do this, God. I need your help. You told me to do this. Yeah. And that's what he's going to give you the strength. And he'll yep. give you the the mm-hmm. wisdom. Like, all right, this is how you should do it. Yep. This is how you be more efficient. Like, that's right. Literally. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yep. And I think we, we got the title of the episode. Don't, don't let at your seed. Don't compare your seed. 
to yeah. someone's tree. That's yep. yep. That's the title of the episode, right? Yeah. There. And I, that wasn't me. That, I got that from somebody. I just be selling people stuff, so I can't take <laughs> no credit. <laughs> <laughs> so for you what what's next for you what's some goals that you have set up do you want to transition into you talking about we see you on commercials we see you on a big screen like what's next for you so basically like so i worked for this company called uh think media shout out to think, think media yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes i work for them so like so my right now, like my main thing right now is just trying to make like YouTube like my home base basically. So I'm trying to like have like a Trey Sang show. I'm not I don't know what I'm gonna be doing, but I'm trying to like I'm just but like I'm working on everything like after after work, <laughs> I'm working on that <laughs> and everything. So I'm trying to have that show and everything and be making like short form content from that and everything, but still making stuff from us on Instagram and whatnot. But trying to like be established on YouTube and have successful YouTube channel because that's where all the sustainable like money is at. It's all it's all on YouTube and everything. So I'm trying to have that and also um just get to like being monetized on every like social media platform. Cause I just I just want to have like passive income coming in as I'm just chilling, and just like making videos, like I'm getting like money from it, not just like doing it <laughs> for fun. I can't do it for play play, I gotta do it for pay pay, you know what I mean? That's all I gotta, you know. I got, that's 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 what I'm trying to get to right now. <laughs> I hear you on that. Hey, you with the right people, think media. Mm -hmm. It'll probably be two, three months. You go on, <laughs> yeah. everything gonna go up. <laughs> hey, while we added it, it's gonna be plugged right there. Make sure you subscribe yeah. to his YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And yeah I, it's just a matter of time. Funny enough, I literally, literally, what is it? It's ten thirty over here. Literally about two hours ago, was watching um Think Media videos. Oh, what's up? On the TV, and it's funny. My wife walked by. And she was like, "Uh, that's that's the blueprint, right?" I yeah, said, no, yeah. It's called Think Media, but you, yeah, it's basically the blueprint. Mm -hmm. that, that's what yep. it is. So yeah, yeah, you definitely on your way because that's, that's all my that's all my boss Sean Cannell talks about getting a video podcast like that. So man, keep doing what you're doing, especially with a video podcast. And you got over 200 episodes, man. You woo, you on your oh my gosh, yeah, man. Hey, go. I'm with God's help. I'm trying. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like this. That's why I get the knowledge. Self taught. Mm -hmm. I'm yep. think media heavy. Think yep. media heavy. Yep. It's a couple of shows, couple of podcasts. I I'm behind because I'm like, nah. I gotta yep. I gotta get this knowledge. I gotta figure this out. Like, yep. That the show could wait. That'll yeah. be it on the DVR. Yeah, yeah it's like, that could hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Like you said, the play play. Yeah. Ah, we try to turn this into yeah. pay pay. And mm -hmm. YouTube is really where it's at. Mm -hmm. like, for those the content creators watching, of course. Yep. Work on the Instagram, TikTok, all of that. But YouTube, mm -hmm. that's where my focus is at. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't yet. Going to the 107 and the 9K on TikTok, <laughs> all that. But I'm hoping we can start with YouTube because yeah. that Pepe on YouTube. That's where, yeah. You st you started the right you you started at the right uh, platform. That's where that's I did where. it backwards. I did it. I'm doing the wrong. I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> hey, you went. You going? It's all in God's timing. I'm pretty like I'm confident, like really, really confident. Give it two or three months, especially mm -hmm. with who you connect with and you working with. Think many of that team over there. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they pushing really out mm -hmm. content yeah I, I see it I see everything behind the scenes like pushing out content I'm like dang I'm like <laughs> they, oh, they are one of the, the top in the industry right now so shout out to Think Media Think Media and again, <laughs> I like doing a show whether I have athletes on comedians rapper whoever we like mm -hmm. to speak things into existence on this yeah. show. I see two, three months, of course, lining up with God's will, of course. But with the consistency that you're doing, mm -hmm. I, I don't foresee why not. Mm -hmm. It don't hit on YouTube. Come on. Prophesy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start running right now. Don't get me going. I'm going to start, uh, start shouting right now. You better <laughs> calm, calm that down, man. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> hey, we end off the show always with the fourth quarter segment, a little fun segment, get to know people more, a little bit of a little rapid fire, different questions. 
we ask every single guest, every single, I mean every single guest, because me personally, I'm only five foot ten, one eighty, but I really am like three fifty. How much <laughs> I love food, I eat for four. So that's just how I'm set up. So I like to find out what other people like to eat. So mm-hmm. what's one meal that you could have like for the rest of your life that you like? Ah, oh, that's my favorite thing to eat. Oh man, man, I can eat. Chicken wings and fries every day for the rest of my life. I, I think chicken wings and fries is my love language, actually, I think. I think chicken wings and fries is my love language, not communication, not all that. <laughs> chicken wings and fries is my love language, and I can just eat that every, every single day for the rest of my life. <laughs> now, Aubrey, again, I'm a foodie, so <laughs> now we we talking plain chicken wings. We got any sauce on these? Oh, man. No, I, no, I need the... um. I need me a good, like, good lemon pepper wing, like, or just a good, like, good, like, buffalo wing, like, because mm. I, cause I, I, don't, I don't want that. Some people make buffalo wings, but it's like half buffalo, half plain, because they don't put their heart and soul into it. I need a good, like, buffalo wing fully lathered in that buffalo sauce and everything. Now, don't play me on the buffalo, you know, everything. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I could, I could dig some wings. Pretty much often too. So give me wings, yeah. give me fries, as long as the fries right. are seasoned correctly. Yes, yeah, man. Like I want some like Laurie's kind of season. I want some like I need some good seasoning on those fries and everything. You know, yeah. <laughs> crispy. I don't want no soggy fries. Yeah, crispy. Yes. I'm telling you, that's my love language. Chicken wings and fries. That should be like one of the love languages. Because <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh my gosh. Whew. I I'm pretty sure you've seen this picture all over social media at some point. Pick one, 850 credit score, a million dollars in cash, or 5K weekly for life. Mm. Yo, give me that. Give me that 5K weekly because out here, oh, yeah, man, out here, that would like cover like my, <laughs> my future mortgage payment and everything, my expenses and everything. I'm already cool at saving money. So that, that 5K, I'll be, I'll be iron trimming. Like, I'll be able to go Chick Fil A a little bit, you know, not all the time. Cause I only go, I only go Chick Fil A on the first and the fifteenth because it's too expensive nowadays. So anytime I get paid, I hit up like Chick Fil A and everything, <laughs> everything. So yeah, give me that 5K, man. Shoot, I, I'm cool with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying the same thing. Give me the 5K. That 5K weekly, I could fix my credit score. Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I Ooh. can fix my credit score. <laughs> And I know how to flip it, so that eventually yeah. will turn it to the million anyway. Mm-hmm. So, yep, give me the five K mm-hmm. weekly, please. Yep, hey, I'm good with that. Yeah. <laughs> if you had to choose, give me some of your your favorite scriptures because every video mm-hmm. that you do for those that don't know, because you're going to, you're going to go check the page out after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For those that do not know, every video has a scripture attached to it. Mm-hmm. Again. I'm leading you back to the word. Go check it yeah. out. So, yeah, some of your favorite actual scriptures. So, like one of my uh, one of them is like <clears throat> a scripture that no one really knows is like it's like in uh, Genesis uh, thirty nine ten. It says like the it says the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a successful man. But for that verse, I, I like to put my name in that scripture. I like to put like mm-hmm. the Lord is with Trey, and Trey is a successful man. So I always be like confessing like that over myself and everything. Then like another one is definitely uh. Uh, definitely uh, Proverbs 18, 21, that death and life are in the power of the tongue. So I'm always like speaking life. When I was going to do all my like relational drama and everything. I was in therapy. I was like, I'll go to therapy and then just go home and confess the word. So I can, I was like speaking all this into existence before like it even happened. So yeah, Proverbs 18, 21. Then Isaiah 40, uh, 31 it says, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I'm always like, confessing that because i'm we all need like just know that the lord is with us and everything like, he's going to help us and like like strengthen us too and everything so i i love that and then oh yeah then uh first thessalonians 4 11 it was like it says uh that you aspire to lead a quiet life minding your own business because people need to mind their business nowadays just focus on doing what guys told you to do so i'm trying to mind my own business that's why I love it. I, I know that I know that was in the Bible. I was like, mind your business in the Bible? I, I didn't know that. So I highlighted that. I circled that. I'm like, man, that is my scripture. That's a that was set people free right there. Minding your own business and everything. So yes, 
Yo, that's my scripture. First Thessalonians 4 11. And then this other one is uh oh, it's for first Timothy 4 15. So basically, Paul was telling Timothy it was like to like to meditate on these things, give yourself entirely to them, like give yourself entirely to the gift that God has given you. And then it says that your progress will be evident to all. So you, you won't even have to say, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. My progress will be evident to you by like the work I'm putting in, by me actually giving myself entirely to the gift that God has given me. It'll be evident to everybody. So right now, that, that's how I'm at right now, just giving myself entirely to the gift that God has given me. And then my progress is going to be evident. Like I want to say, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. You'll just see, you'll just see the fruit of it because I'm just using my time wisely to give myself entirely to it. So those are my five right now and everything. Hey, those... Those are a solid five right here. <laughs> Those are a solid five. And to the last one that you mentioned too, is like, <sighs> in this society, it's such a fine line of having humility. Mm. And, you know, people want to, they want the respect. They want the accolades. They want the, hey, look what, look at what I'm doing. I'm doing this, this, yeah. this, this. And, mm -hmm. It's a good reminder. Is like my wife was talking about this last night. Like, what's your motive? What's the what's mm -hmm. the reason behind what you're doing? Yeah, are you doing it for that reason? Because it's a scripture that talks about you know, do it unto the Lord. But when you're doing it out in the open, like, hey, look at me, I gave this much. In <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, you got your reward right there. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah. So I'll preach. It's for me too. Is always a reminder, like, yo. <sighs> Are you doing it for the for the likes, or are you mm -hmm. doing it because I told you to to do this? Because mm -hmm. you'll get the likes, then that that's what you you got your reward right there. there you, go. <laughs> yep. you you got your little your little funky ten likes, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you was doing it for it. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> definitely, yep. and you mentioned the mind your business. I don't know if you heard it, but it was a whole like they did a remix with like a a choir singing "Mind Your Business." <laughs> I've heard that. <laughs> If I find it, I'm gonna send it to you. It's it to me. Yo, it's absolutely hilarious. Like it's a whole choir and and everything, bro. I gotta find it was on SoundCloud, so I gotta I gotta <laughs> find it. It was like two, three years ago. So <laughs> literally when you said that, that's what came on my head. It was like mind your business. <laughs> like whole whole actual song. We used to blasting in the car. Like it was that will set people free. Oh my gosh, man. Shoot. Oh man! So, you mentioned Kevin on stage. Does anybody else come to your mind as like your favorite content creators? So let's see, what was it? Oh, so definitely uh, Matthew Hudson. He's hilarious, and uh, Just Witty. Oh, uh, she's she's hilarious too. Cause it, like Matthew Hudson and her, they they like collaborate on content, and they they're the funniest people I ever like, <laughs> heard in my ever seen in my life. And then the uh, country Wayne's like he's I'm country Wayne just like I'm on his I'm on country Wayne right now because he's like he's hilarious. But then like his like business mind, like how he's able like to monetize like on like every like platform and everything just by doing content. Like I just saw him on the, the club Shay Shay talking about his like process. I'm like homeboy posts ten skits a day and everything. I'm like man. So now so now like I'm trying to get on Facebook to try to get that. Facebook money he was he was talking about because he was like how much money he got off Facebook. I was like, dang, so definitely like definitely like country Wayne as well and everything. And this other comedian, um, his name is um J18. Man, he he got some some of the funniest like content. He's legit just like in his apartment, like he it's like it's just like so like every scenario is like on point and spot on. So I I love him and everything. So there's like a lot of them. John Dembino, I'm like, I know like. I'm like like any, like any creator that I like like I'm following them. They might not be following me, but I'm like, hey, I give you, I can show y'all love and everything. Like I'm truly a fan. Like I, I appreciate like people who are in my like industry like doing their thing and everything. I'm always like commenting like like and everything. So yeah, definitely them. That's one of the episodes that I got on the tuck that I need to go watch because I saw clips for the country way. Yeah, yeah. The, the little clips I saw, I'm like, mm -hmm. oh no, I gotta I gotta yeah. tap it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's the, doing it. He's doing the it. The mentality, the mindset. Mm -hmm. What was your? I, uh, so for me, that's why I like always what I enjoy 
is telling people's stories and seeing, mm-hmm. you know, how they got to where they got. And mm-hmm. my whole thing is mm-hmm. like the production company I have, which Phil God was leading is still not worry studios. Mm-hmm. It's to either inspire you, motivate you, make you laugh or educate you. Mm-hmm. One of those. I love watching content like that. So I'm looking, I'm watching little clips like country. So yeah, I pay for all my baby mamas. They got yeah. this. Like, all right. <laughs> This is all off of cunt. Hey, mm-hmm. got, like this one out with country. Yeah. Like, Wayne, I gotta check this one out. Mm-hmm. Said, oh yeah, everybody on my staff get paid. I said. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <Y'all> <laughs> hiring? I know. <laughs> I was doing the same thing. I'm like, hey, I'll hold the light. I'll hold the oh, you do this show, well, man. <laughs> I've been doing more push-ups. I can hold that boom mic. Yeah, for sure. I'm like, hey, which one I want? How y'all how y'all want it? I'm like, <laughs> shoot, man. Man, he, he, I'm like, yo, so that's all eating over there. Like, ain't nobody missing one, <laughs> Oh yeah, that's that's the one that's on on the on the back burner out there. Go check out, and you just mm-hmm. remind me definitely. Yeah. Gotta, <laughs> I definitely got to go check that one out now for sure. Ten skits a day, maybe I ain't working hard enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm single. I don't do that much. I'm single. I don't do that. So I got no excuse. I'm like, hey, I got ten kids. <laughs> hey. The fact that he don't like, bruh, I don't know. Shay Shay asks, what, what's your sleep schedule, bro? Yeah, you do it. <laughs> That's different. If you would give your five favorite TV shows or movies, whichever one you prefer. Let's see. So for movies, like, well, like Shrek is like my favorite movie. Like I can like quote Shrek like 24 seven. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, Oh, I love Remember the Titans. I just love that movie. I just I just love that. And then shows is like I, I'm a nineties kid. So it's like I love like the Fresh Prince. I love the Jamie Foxx show. I love Martin. I love Living Single. Like I love like all those like black shows that like <laughs> that no one really talks about that much. Like uh what's the other, other show? What's the other show I'm thinking about? <sighs> My mind's going blank right now. Ah, oh, forget it. <laughs> Mine's gone blank. Dang it. <laughs> nah. Um, literally, that, the funny thing, the show that you mentioned, that's back in the day where it was actually like, it was a thing to have that intro song. Because literally, oh. like, we are living. Yeah, that's not sure. Yo, I got a hat. That's living single, right? I, I got a living single hat right here, man. I don't play about it. Shoot. Yo. <laughs> Living single, the Jamie Foxx show, Martin. You got the you got Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Mm-hmm. Shoot, even before the nineties, go back like one of the best shows. I still say to this day. Granted, the man did what he did, but it's still one of the best shows ever. The Cosby Show. Cosby, yeah, I agree. I agree. I definitely agree. Like, still one of the best shows around. Like, it don't come on TV as often as much because of what he did. Yeah, trust and believe. Oh. We gonna have yeah. the DVDs at the crib. Yeah, <laughs> to watch the mm-hmm. Cosby Show for yeah. sure. Uh, the show that flipped off of that. Um, what's the show that flipped off of? It was in college. A different world. A oh, different world. Oh yeah, I still watch that right now. Always great, great. Yeah, cause that show. Uh, Grownish tried to do a different world style, but they couldn't do it. They tr- they tried to like. They tried too hard to force the message, like different world. It just came like in the flow of the episode. It was like easy to flow. Now they're just trying to like they were trying to like force the message and everything. Like it don't sound right, but different world. Like yeah, that's my yeah, hands down. Different world. Like it's not that many shows where it give that feel from the nineties that was mm-hmm. that are that good anymore in this era. Like you said, I thought Blackish was the best version that they had of yeah. That. Mm-hmm. Grownish, uh, yeah. they try to do the mixed ish. Uh, yeah, okay, blackish. Say yeah. stop all that ish. Stop all that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna end off with this. This is another one we ask all of our guests: five people that are alive that you'd like to have a meal with. All right, just definitely, uh, definitely Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp for sure. And then uh, I will go with uh, Ryan Coogler because yeah, Ooh. I just want to like learn from him and everything. And then this other, uh, oh, then uh, Devon Franklin. He's uh, 
definitely him. So like I like everybody like how he like he didn't let allow Hollywood to like affect his faith. Like he affected faith like in Hollywood and everything. So definitely Von Franklin. Then um yeah, Michael B. Jordan. I just got it like I got it. I just I just want to like <laughs> glean from him. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan definitely. And then who else? If he was live, definitely Kobe Bryant. If he was live, like definitely Kobe. <laughs> no. I argue back and forth with people all the time. Um, Michael B. Jordan's my guy. Whatever, whatever Mike is in, yep. I'm going to go see mm-hmm. it. People, oh, he's not that good of a. Say what you want to say. You can't convince me otherwise. I that yep. that is one of the people that Michael B. Jordan, yep. the Coogler with the directing and the mm-hmm. producer. Yo, those two four. Mm-hmm. Sure. Like, it's funny you said that because I literally be arguing with people all the time. I don't, I don't think he's that good of an actor. <laughs> Yo, respectfully, I don't even want to talk to you. Like, no. Yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> we not taking any Michael B. Jordan disrespect yeah, no slander nope. on this side ever. Mm-mm. Ever. Nope. But y'all know the vibes, man. That is Trey. Peak we had on the show again make sure y'all subscribe on his channel share go check out the instagram the tiktok everything trust me you will not regret it y'all know the vibes on this and if you stay ready you don't gotta get ready yeah. bench mob we out peace